You're watching Eyewitness News at 11 on WUTR. Tonight we are continuing to follow the legal battle over the right to shelter law as it pertains to migrants. New York City is asking for help saying they're at capacity, while a judge is ordering New York State to respond with how it can help. Our Capitol correspondent Jamie DeLine has been tracking this case and now has the state's response. A state disaster emergency and $1 billion in the state budget are just a few key points in a 12 page letter written by Governor Hogel's attorney, listing ways the state is helping New York City during the migrant crisis. The state also reiterating that it's New York City's responsibility to provide shelter because of a decades old consent decree dating back to 1981. The state is not a party to that, so the right to shelter does not expand to the the whole of the state. The state's letter points the finger at the city for not prioritizing $10 million in state funding to obtain work authorization, saying, quote, had the city done so, it is likely that thousands more migrants would be able to work today. The state also pointed to a list of sites that could provide temporary shelter to more than 3,000 migrants. The city releasing a statement saying it appreciates space on the parking lot of the Creedmoor Psychiatric Facility that opened Tuesday and for promised funding, adding, quote, but because this is such a significant crisis, we need more, including more space around the state and a statewide order that bars localities from passing ordinances that prevent asylum seekers from being relocated to other parts of New York State. The Legal Aid Society sharing similar sentiments with me on Tuesday. The governor could take a, a stronger role and overriding those local executive orders and force um, the counties to have to accept migrants, it would really help create safer spaces for, for the clients coming into the system. The state is also calling on the city to provide advance notice before sending migrants to other communities. A spokesperson for the governor's office saying Hogel is grateful to Mayor Adams' team and she will continue to work closely with them. Reporting in Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine. President Joe Biden is 